Hello everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're working on the inside liners for Christmas Vibes from Jabella. So we're going to put a large pocket here, and this pocket is nine and a quarter inches across by seven inches tall. You're gonna score a half inch on three sides. We're gonna install the pocket. <clears throat> And we're going to do a little color blocking here. It's going to be the same as the back, which I've already completed. Um, but I don't think we need to do both online. So whatever you cut for this inside liner, you just do two. Um, and you'll use the second one on the back liner. And as you can see, I've got book binding tape in here. If you have um, the construction tape from my creative spirit, that'll work well too. Either one. Okay, and then we've got a flap that's gonna go on top and it is eight and a quarter by four inches, eight and a quarter by four inches. On the four inch side, score a half inch. <clears throat> old <laughs> my eyes are old that's all there is to it it's straight over here and it's hanging off I'm going to trim that um, because I don't want it to get cut in my gusset um, and I'm just going to trim it in the book use a ruler draw a line and just use a pair of scissors to trim that little bit off which means um, we'll probably have to cut a slight angle. I know you guys can't see it, um, but it's just a little enough that it might get caught on this page, um, which means we'll have to cut our designer paper at a slight, slight angle. <clears throat> I'm trying to get it where I can cut it easily. All done. Now I'm going to uh, draw a quick reference line. I'm going to use two magnets here, one here and one here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Got those in. I'm going to burnish the tape down real quick and then we'll start decorating. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I've got some papers lined up here. Um, we're going to use this beautiful pattern. This is from the 12 by 12 and I split it in half so it means it's only six inches tall for the front and back which means we have to do a little color blocking here and the same thing is true for this. We're going to do some color blocking here. So I'm going to use this wood strip on top and then I'm going to bring the wood strip back in on the bottom and then the last thing I'm going to do is use the balance of the wood here in the pocket liner. So that is the current plan. So let's go ahead and trim this down. Okay. 
why am I, it should be eight and a quarter, yeah. <clears throat> so that should be about right, let's test it. A little tight, it'll take a little more. <clears throat> Because um, this was nine and a quarter, when you score everything down, it's even though it's half inch, half inch, it's a little bit more than that because the score line itself takes up um, some of the width. So, so again, this this piece is six inches tall. <clears throat> my cap. I'm almost done with this project. When I get finished, that's what I'm going to do. Because it's, it needs it. nothing. Next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and cover this. We're going to use this beautiful red, which I think looks really nice with the uh, pattern below. <clears throat> this strip is two inches. And it was a scrap that I had that was four inches and I split it in half so I could use half on the front cover and half on the back cover. But of course, if you, you can also just cover this with a solid. But at this point, I don't have enough of a solid to cover both the front and back. Even though I have some eight by eights left, this is a little bit bigger than that. So you could use an eight by eight here. You would have a, a bigger um, border. Now we're going to take this, let's get it trimmed to the right width first off. <clears throat> now as per usual, what I like to do, sorry I don't know why that was out, that's, I'm not sure why that was out, is um, measure and cut off the smallest pieces first because you've got you know, more to handle through your trimmer. So I'm going to trim this piece and then I'll trim that piece. And it looks like, and I'll tell you what this actually winds up being, but it looks like it's a half inch. wound up being three eighths, so not quite a half inch. Now if I had a bigger piece, I would have just used that, but this is how you get creative and stretch your, your pack.
Okay, now we'll trim this to fit. everybody's doing well. I guess I'm a little bit quiet today. Got a lot on my mind. There we go. Okay, of course we've got some of this left and that's gonna become the pocket liner. And then lastly, we're going to use this pattern up here. Uh, for those of you interested, the ink I'm using is Powder Puff and Mahogany. And I've mentioned that a few times throughout the videos. Make sure my candy canes are right side up. This is a little too wide. So I'm going to have to let it dry and trim it a little bit. Um, I forgot I trimmed this side down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to trim that a little bit, but we're going to wait for this to dry. In the meantime, I'm going to pull in the paper so you can see what we're doing on the cover. <clears throat> so I really liked this from the 12 by 12. And of course there was uh, paper in these slots. So I, I cleared out the, um, the window seals. And then I'm using this cut apart, which is gonna become the backdrop for the window instead of what it was, which was mostly white and snowy looking, which was pretty, but I kind of like this idea. So what I did on the back is I put a layer of chipboard so that we can get uh, this slightly elevated from the background to make it look a little bit more like inside outside. This is gonna become our cover. And I fussy cut these poinsettias from the papers to layer on top of what was already here as part of the print just to make it a little more dimensional. And in addition to that, all of the berries, I put some dimensional glue on top of. And the glue I use is Diamond Glaze. It's by Judikins. It's, I find it at um, Joann's in their adhesive, uh, not necessarily next to scrapbooking. So each one of the berries has a little dot of that. Um, if you're gonna use a dimensional glue, you gotta be patient. So I did set this aside. In addition, you might see some shimmer here. And I brought that shimmer in using Wink Estella, which we do sell that. 
in the clear, which is very subtle. And then you can see around the edges I went around with Wink of Stella too. That Wink of Stella we don't carry, it's a gold. Um, but they do come in colors, but if you are gonna use any of the Wink of Stella colors, be careful because the, the colored ones are quite dark. Um, but we do carry the clear, and the clear is what I've got on the pine cones, as you can see. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do on the cover. Now, I think this is dry enough. We can go ahead and trim it. <clears throat> and then we can get started on the cover. Which will go pretty quickly because I did all that fussy cutting ahead of time, right? <clears throat> okay, and this is where... Oops, I'm upside down. Darn it. This is the side that we're going to have to cut at a slight angle. That's going to do it. We did it. Got to put some ink on that side. <clears throat> so last I talked to Julie it sounds like Blue Ferns Christmas is still en route so I think that might be our last Christmas collection that's due in um, and I'll probably do something in that when it gets here it's just not here yet so hopefully that'll come pretty soon So the inside liners are done. So let's go ahead and get started on the cover. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna glue this behind this. So we're going to figure out where it needs to be and run a bead of glue. And you have to uh, pay attention because there may be a gap here, right? <clears throat> so I am gonna start by just running a bead of glue around the edge of the windows. Oh, it looks like I need another, another little bit right here. Skipped it. And of course we'll want to glue the frames down. Okay, that should be great. I'm using the grid to help me. Now you could add another layer of chipboard to get even uh, more dimension, but here's why I didn't, because the book is gonna open and lay on its side. So I wanted to be sensitive that this is gonna be laying on its side as you open the book and, and page through it. So I just kept it to a single layer, then added some additional dimension here. Now what I did is I laid this down on a piece of foam and I embossed it to create the dome. And then um, there's a piece of foam underneath and then the rest of the tips are just glued down. So you've got this, the sensation of, um, of lift here. And then I just curled up the tiny edges here. And these ones, I guess I didn't, but down here I did, <clears throat> which would be a more natural state for the flowers to be in. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Okay, I've got a little bit of glue here and I'll wipe that up real quick before it dries. <clears throat> Baby wipes aren't just for babies. So always have paper towels and wet wipes. 
Oops, I think there's still one left. Well, maybe not. All right, so now this is pretty much ready to go here. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, well, we're going to set that aside because we're going to decorate the spine and the back first so that it, we're not laying on top of our beautiful cover or we're putting as little stress on it as possible. So the back is going to be this fun pattern, which I think is really cute. It's the houses and the truck, which brings the cover back in, right? I think I need to trim this down just a tiny bit both ways. So this is going to be uh, the cover, and then this is our spine. And then I, I mean, I'm sorry, this is the back spine, and you just saw the cover. It looks like I turned it to eight by eight. So I need to take an eighth inch off height and width. And ink it. So I'll take an eighth inch off this. Yeah. Okay. We'll ink these two, glue them down, flip it over, finish the cover. <clears throat> Okay, very good. Sorry about that, guys. Let me make this a little more. <clears throat> Sorry about the dog in the background. The nature of working from home. Okay, let's see, should we add a little something? I had this house that I fussy cut out, I don't know, maybe I'm going to fussy cut a bunch of these little cards, how about this? We'll do that. Ink those and lay those down. Just to get a little something on the back. And you can see there's lots of little cut aparts and toppers that can be used for cards or to further embellish the inside of your album. Let's get our cover on. Yay! 
I'm happy with this. I think it's pretty. That's upside down. <laughs> there we go. I think it looks nice. I definitely need to clean my tip. There's a little weight here, so I'm going to actually add a little more glue than I norm normally do because, <clears throat> because of the weight of the chipboard. I have to work fast on chipboard because it's so thirsty. There we go. That's it for our atom bone. Next time we get together, I'll be doing a walkthrough.